Sorry, I got an alarm at the end of that video. What I was saying is they make, you know, this is a setup for an STI with the exhaust cam gear, and then they make ACVS with the three lobes there. This tool is for, you can place it between both into the, um, the bolts there. And when you remove your timing belts, if you don't want it to jump, you can use that tool. I'm not gonna be able to show you it cracking because this is kind of a two person job or at least two, two hands. So get that lined up. And honestly, if I had a second person, I would like two hands on this and then the other person cracking the bolt. I don't have two people. So I'm using my impact. I'm gonna set my phone down. Be very careful to keep the special wrench as flush as I possibly can. My feet under the engine screen. I don't want anything moving. I don't want this impact spinning this at all. If these weren't off recently and if I wasn't making a video, I probably wouldn't do it that way. I feel like it's risky if you slip off of here and that impact's going hard and you just rotate this, you might have some interference. But this engine was out and I did the head studs and we determined that, well, cylinder four had a misfire. So I'm assuming that the valve Lash is off, so we're double checking valve lash. But now that you've got both cam gears off, you take the rear cover off, these three bolts here, and then you can see it barely even ran. The assembly lube is still there. Get these guys off, take these off, the cam caps, you know, have your engine stand rotated so your cam shafts don't fall out. And then, and I'm assuming you're doing head studs at this point, you take your buckets out, valve buckets. There's eight of them on each side. Um, make sure you place them in the same order so you put them in the same spot, unless you have a valve. I mean, I would still do that. If you have a valve lash problem like I do, you're gonna need to measure your, use a feeler gauge and, and measure uh, valve lash first, do calculations. There's videos on that. I'm not going to get into that. That's what I'm going to do though. But anyway, if you're doing head studs, you would just, or, or uh, head gaskets, place and in no timing problems, no valve lash problems. Then take them off, put them in a specific sp spot on your workbench so they go back in that same spot and crack your head studs, put your new um, head gaskets on and repeat. Then you can do the same thing to replace your cam um, gears and, but you're going the opposite way. When you torque these down and it's a very specific, um, it's like a torque spec and then a 45 degree angle after that, something like that. I'm not getting into torque specs, but you could do the timing belt again, or you could use these wrenches. I'm alone, I'm doing the timing belt again. If you, there are tools to um, place cam seals, or you can go to wherever, whatever hardware store, go to plumbing and, you know, bring your old seals in and get some pl plastic plumbing pipe and you can press it in this way. And that's about it.